Hey y'all, so I know it's been a minute since I've done a lot. Hey y'all, so I know it's been a minute since I've been on this channel, but we have been doing so much other stuff. I wanted to come on and talk to y'all a little bit about what we've done today. We did our electricity line. We dug into the ground. Let me show you. We dug into the ground right here. We don't have the material yet, but we plan to get it within the next week or so. So we can close this up because y'all know when it starts rain, when it starts raining, the water is going to sit here and we don't want to have to wait for this water to dry up so we can put the electricity lines in and it's going to come to about right here, right? And this is the part that we're going to extend out. So this section right here is going to be a closet for our son and the breaker box is going to be in his room in the closet also i'm gonna jump over this also what we've done is our water line used to sit on top of the water so when it snowed here in texas and then when it froze over last year, our, our pipes froze because it was sitting on top of the line. I mean, sitting on top of the, because it was sitting on top of the ground. And in the summertime, the water was extremely hot because it had no protection from anything. And the sun was beaming on those pipes. So when we had water, we didn't even have to use the hot water. We had to use the cold water because the water was already hot. So what we did now is... For what? Come on. Why? I gotta go to school. I gotta go to school. Well, on I drive it. Why? I gotta go to school. What do you mean? Huh? I'm not the bus so we dug in the ground, and I'll insert clips in this. Um, we dug into the ground and did our water line is now in the ground. We dug into the ground, so now our water line is now under the ground, and we don't have to worry about the pipes busting with freezing weather. We don't have to worry about the sun making it extremely hot, so we don't have to use the hot water. We all have regular temperature water. That is something that I am excited about. Also... We actually ran water down to my shed as well. Now that looked like a snake. And right here too, we teed it off and dug a line to our house so we can put water in the house as well. And that all will be closed up. And we plan to do this pretty quick so the rain and the water doesn't sit in here. And then the section down, the section down to my shed, my she shed, had a water line going down, but there's no water in it yet. But we plan to put water in there also. And um, we basically had the water line sitting on top of the ground because that's what I was using to water my garden and stuff with. Um, that is now covered up as well. And I'm gonna show you. Muska. This right here, while the dirt is dug up, and y'all, this is a monster mesquite tree that we gotta get up. We gotta dig that up. Um, so all of this is my water line that goes down to my shed. It goes down to my shed. It is now under the ground. And that is all we've done today. Tomorrow, depending on how much rain we get, it's supposed to be a 70% chance of rain tomorrow. So depending on how much rain we get, we might do some work tomorrow. 
Um, if not, it'll be on Wednesday. But I do need to go back to Home Depot. And I'll bring you out with me tomorrow. I need to go back to Home Depot to go get some more um, PVC pipes. And probably get some electric pipe. and Or see how much the electric wire we need. I think we're going to work on that next week. But I can get the pricing of it. And then um, after that, we are going to work on putting the piers in the ground so we can get our framing done. I'm so ready, y'all. I'm so ready. But I'm going to be trying from here on out to update y'all with the work that we're doing just around here. I know I don't want to bore y'all with just us taking care of the horses and stuff because a lot of the stuff that we're doing on the shed, I mean, a lot of the stuff that we're doing on the house takes time and money. And like I said, we've been busy this month, so we haven't really worked on it. And I just don't want to give y'all random videos. So if y'all don't mind seeing stuff about the horses, seeing us cut the grass, you know, just seeing random things that we do around the property, let me know, drop it down below, um, and I'll just shoot y'all some of that footage. My garden is, my garden is dead. So I do wanna see what kind of fruits and vegetables that I can plant for the winter and during the cold months, and I'ma go from there. So if y'all have the, if y'all plant, you know, vegetables and fruits during the winter time, y'all let me know. Also, drop it down below so I can go get some of that and get my car, my garden back on and popping. But that's all I have for today, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.